A Castleton graduate is making her college proud to call her one of its own. Adrian Weld, a physical education teacher at Rutland High School, is a recipient of a high accomplishment. The Vapored High School Physical Education Teacher of the Year Award for High School. Before accepting the award, Weld, along with the entire Rutland High School Physical Education Department, sat down with Access to talk about the award and what it means for their program as a whole. One day past her due date, Adrian Weld accepts her award at an annual physical education conference last Friday in Killington. The expectant mom humbled by the recognition. It's obviously very um, nice to be recognized for the hard work that we have accomplished as a department and the changes that we've made, especially in this past year. Her co-workers, Jason Casarino and Nathan Belomo, say Adrian is well-deserving. They say her connection to students, especially the young girls at RHS, is something to be admired. If you were to <clears throat> go in her shoes for and watch her for a day, she's got a lot a big following. She has great rapport with the with the with the girls. Um, she's a good role model. They look up to her. The trio of physical education teachers admit the success of Adrian's is a great reflection for the program all three are working diligently on. To make it more than the PE classes we remember as students, but instead make it work more for the students. Lessons they'll remember and tips they can use for life. We have a pretty tight department and I was happy because if she has success that means we're doing something as a department too. So if, if Adrian's the face of this then that's great. If, if Jason was the face of it or Margaret's the face of it, it doesn't matter to me. It shows that our product that we're putting out there is doing well and, and we're getting recognized which is what we wanted to do when we all got together we wanted to make we felt Roland had potential to be uh, one of the best phys ed programs in the state and we're obviously with these awards we're moving towards that. While the honor is overwhelming and exciting Adrian says it was one person's message on social media that meant the most. Seeing all of the comments thread and one of the comments was extremely special to me who was my former physical education teacher who was the person who inspired me to become um, a teacher and her response was probably the most meaningful because I don't know that she realized how much impact she had on my life. In the coming weeks, we'll look closer at how Rutland High School's Physical Education Department is working to be the best program in the state. Rutland High School is leading the way on several fronts in the education field. From its new global initiatives focus to broadening what physical education classes it offers, the home of the Raiders are pushing for more individualized education to help its students excel. Three years ago, I think I was lucky enough to get funded by the Roland Foundation to travel to France and meet with um, health professionals, educators, uh, technology about the realm of activity or fitness and policymakers and everybody got a chance to uh, interact in workshops and talk about things and I was one of the, there was three teachers so I was one of the kind of the people in the trenches to talk about what are the issues, what are we seeing and there was technology people, like I said, and when I came back, the biggest thing that we got from it was how do we bridge, how do we bridge activity with everybody, community school, within the school, um, and policy makers to make it all kind of flow and transition together. And I think from there, we started to talk, and the stuff that we're implementing, I think does that, it sort of connects what we're doing here at school with the community. One way the Physical Education Department is setting itself apart from other programs across the state is offering classes like this adventure class. So we're pretty unique here at the high school that we have uh, low level uh, elements, we have high level elements, and then we have even, I guess considered even higher, like a zip line, a vertical playpen that the kids can engage in that teaches them social responsibility and yet keeps them physically active in a, in a totally unique and different way and a lot of people pay a lot they pay money to go to these places and these kids have it right at their disposal which and they they like it a lot I mean if you go into the gym and I showed you up into the rafters you would see five or six elements up there that kids would climb and and learn how to uh, trust one another and communicate with one another all those things that we use those lifelong skills they're applying in that particular discipline the class requires students, 
some who may be interacting for the first time, how to communicate with one another across any barrier. For this reason, the Physical Education Department thinks classes like this can transcend beyond the classroom and into real life. Throughout the semester, the class takes students outside to learn some basics, then moves indoors for climbing portions like what you see in this video. We have three different kind of pockets of it where we have like a low outside, we have this very low beginning level, and then inside we have a little bit harder, and then outside it's an Adventure 2 class that we have where it, it's the trust needs to be even greater amongst the students and the communication. Um, like I said, a zip line, a multi-vine, and they're up pretty high, you know, you're talking 25 feet in the air, some are 30 feet, 40 feet in the air. The adventure class is just one example of RHS taking education to the next level. In the coming weeks, we'll look more at physical education and how it's changing.